This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle and becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. What is up, YouTube? Today, I need to tell you guys something. This video is a topic that I've actually been meaning to talk about for a while. To be honest, it's something that I felt very recently, but it's also something that, even though it's something I've been wanting to share for a minute, at the same time, it's also something that I didn't want to share. Because yes, it is very personal, but all my videos are, right? But what I mean by that is that, what I'm about to talk about is also scary to talk about because I guess number one, right? Uh, the negative feedback that I might receive from this. Uh, well, people always say this. People might think it's just clickbait, but it's not. My coworkers watch my videos. I know my boss will see this video. Um, he was the one that actually went up to me the other week, or actually the other day, Friday last week, and was like, Chris, what was that video you said you were gonna upload? <laughs> but even more than that as well, future employers will potentially see this video. I'm not trying to brag whatsoever, and I, I have people who contact me from subscribers and even friends who actually work for tech companies all around the country, actually even around the world. And these people from Verizon to people, tech companies in the tech bubble in Silicon Valley, in Los Angeles, in Irvine, these people that I've met have told me that they heard of me, um, mainly because of their junior developers, or even now mid-level and senior developers who work at the companies and brought me up, right? That's terrifying because future employers will see this and think maybe something negative about me, but I don't care. Even though I have been contemplating recording this video the last couple of days, I'm going to do this because number one, if I'm feeling this, I can only imagine what you guys are feeling. If I went through this, I can only imagine what you guys went through or are going through, right? I received so many direct messages of people who feel like giving up. I received so many emails of people who actually did give up or are so close to giving up. I know someone who messaged me in January. I had a direct message. I'm not gonna screenshot it because I, I didn't have a permission to do it. She asked me what language she, she should start learning, right? And now, like literally a couple weeks ago, she got hired as a junior software engineer. Then she doubled her salary. <laughs> Now, more than doubled it, actually. And I'm really proud of her. I'm, you know who you are if you're watching this. But the thing is, if she gave up, she would never reach that position. And that's why I'm doing this right now for you guys. So it's true. I was really close to quitting my job. Very close. I was going through something very difficult. I was going through a moment where I was thinking, maybe, maybe coding wasn't for me or isn't for me. And yeah, I've been a developer for the last three years, more than three years. Yeah, I'm getting to live a life that I never thought that I could ever live. Yes, I love my, I do love what I do for a living, but it got to a point where sometimes I would wonder, is this really for me? And, and to not keep this video long at all, the, the reason I thought that, and the reason these things came to mind was because I just felt so insufficient. I felt like I was so weak. I felt like I could be so much better, but I'm not. And it was so discouraging because there are so many times when I would receive a ticket at work and it would take me so long to complete at times. I would receive a ticket at work when something would just be too difficult for me and I just didn't know what to do and something that could have taken a couple of minutes, if not an hour or two or a couple hours, took me a week to complete it. And it was so discouraging. And through that time, I kept thinking maybe like, what is wrong with me? Man, am I deceiving myself? Right? I, made, I made a YouTube channel about coding, my life as a developer and how much I love it. And yet, why am I sucking so much? And these things kept coming into my mind. I guess you could say, yeah, I was definitely feeling imposter syndrome, for sure. It sucks. It, it's interesting too, because I spoke to other developers who work at the company. Um, I sit between two of them. And one person said they feel that all the time. You know, these people I actually look up to because I feel like, man, these guys can get jobs anywhere. And yet when I talk to them, uh, one of them would say, or they would pretty much say, they don't think they can, which blows my mind because they're so much better than me at what they do at the company. Another person who's like a full stack developer, she specializes back in, she's really good. Even she gets hard on herself thinking, why can't she solve a problem as good as she should have? Um, why does it take her hours to complete something when it should have taken a lot less time to complete it? And these were things that, you know, I started to notice that, wait, it's not just me. And, and it's funny because I've made a video similar to this before. I've said it in my vlog before. I feel like it's something, at least for me, let me know if you guys go through it as well in the comment section, but I feel like I go through this a lot. But 
it's not just me. A lot of people feel it. Unless you're like some prodigy, right? Everyone feels it. A lot of people go through this kind of thinking. And, I, and all right, so this is hard to share too, but I'll share it. And it got to the point where it was affecting, like just because I was so negative and so hard on myself, right? I, it was starting, to, I, I noticed it was affecting my work. It was affecting my productivity because I was so hard on myself. And so like I spoke to my boss about it. He came to me and asked me about like, what's what's going on? Like, why am I having a hard time focusing, etc. And one thing he told me, and it really hit me. And I think it's something that you guys need to hear too. My boss, he told me, Chris, I think your expectations for yourself is just too high. It's important to have high expectations of yourself or else you'll never get better, right? But because I had such high expectations of myself and because I, those expectations were so high, because I wasn't reaching those expectations as fast as I want to, what happened is that I, those self-proclaimed failures that I was having on my own, right? That was pulling me down because I kept getting hard on myself, hard on myself, hard on myself to the point that I wouldn't even want to study code thinking, what's the point? I'm not gonna be good at this anyway. And he told me, and he told me, high expectations are good, goals are good, but have steps. Have expectation maybe over here. Reach that, then go to a higher one. Reach that, then you cl slowly climb, reach that expectation of yourself, that goal, and then go a little higher. You can't do it all at once. And I think that's my problem. It can't, th the same thing happened to YouTube, same thing happened to gaming, same thing happened, everything I do. Ask my closest friends, I'm the type of person to go all out in everything I'm passionate about. So what I had to learn to do was that, and, or just accept and understand that I can't just be the best in everything I do right away, right? I have to understand that I will not become the developer I want to be overnight. And I had to accept that, yes, I will fail over and over again. But more than anything, just look at the small things, focus on that, and then you can get better from there. And I know this sounds really simple, right? Um, but for me, it wasn't. It was, it, it sucked and it was really difficult. But I'll tell you this, man, now it's a joy to go to work again. Now I enjoy waking up in the morning and going to the office and just coding. And, and I think the main reason too, by the way, to be honest, because of this YouTube channel, because so many people do look up to me, so many people assume I'm so good at what I do. To be honest, I'm not. <laughs> That's the main reason I had such high expectations of myself. One more thing that my boss shared with me, and I want to share with you guys before in this video. Um, one thing he said to me was that, Chris, I don't think it's a talent issue, right? I think it's a focus, it's a mental issue. Not, not mean like mental, like my health, but like just, being able to focus and really just understand that it's not about just reaching those high goals right away, but taking steps and getting better and getting better. And the fact that I heard that from my boss that it's not a talent issue, really, it, it hit me that, okay, I really am better than I realized, but I can't expect to become what I wanna be right away. I know a lot of people are feeling this or have felt it or probably gave up already, but one thing I wanna tell you guys is that it's worth it. It's hard. It's a long ass road to become or to reach where you want to go. Right? But just keep going. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be hard to be honest. But damn, I love what I do for a living. Anyways guys, that's what I wanna share for you today. Thank you guys for watching, man. Um, I'm recording this today on my birthday. Yeah, I figured a good gift to myself is the vent to you all on YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna end the video right here. By the way, if you guys wanna watch me when this video goes live, I actually will be streaming on Twitch Hit up the link description below. If you guys want to hit me up there and ask me questions while I'm gaming, hit me up. Anyways, this is Krishan. This is Life Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace.